In May of 2018, artist John Ross Palmer took his annual international art adventure to the bustling, mountainous Colombian capital, Bogota. Although it's just a four and a half hour direct flight from Houston that lies in the same time zone, Palmer experienced a whole new world in the very noble Athens of South America. The journey started earlier this year when author Dr. Steve Milner selected the winning essay. Inaugural First Class Club members Richard and Joan Jennings' winning essay focused on Palmer's creating an unforgettable experience and showing great kindness to Mr. Jennings' father. After much research by Palmer's husband, Ryan Lindsay, on the most unforgettable places in the world, on January 19th at the John Palmer Art Gallery and Studio, Palmer announced that this year's travel would take him to Colombia to create the series Bogota 2018. His 11 paintings would be created and attempt to capture all of the best of a city of more than 8 million people that's more than 8,000 feet above sea level. Prior to leaving, Palmer and Lindsay hosted a delicious send away, including empanadas and plantains, where they shared private details of the upcoming expedition with the VIP members of the FCC. Because of the generosity of the first class club, Palmer and Lindsay would be staying in a luxurious suite in the stylish neighborhood of Usa Kane. Thanks to the introduction by 2016 escapist Tatiana Escayon, her friend Maria Beatrice would serve as their expert guide in Bogota. Touring commenced on the morning of Thursday, May 24th, after a midnight landing from Houston. After experiencing the madness of Bogota traffic, John and Ryan were enamored by the Gold Museum first, and then they simply could not get enough of the Botero Art Museum. At lunch, their first taste of Colombian fare was the scrumptious soup Ayaco. Following an afternoon rest, Maria, her husband Jorge, and their new artist friend Lena took the pair to the city's most famous restaurant, Andres Carne de Res. They were welcomed with Colombian pageant sashes, dined on delicious beef, and danced with the huge, lively party crowd. On day two, the couple climbed into a cable car and ascended to the city's highest destination, Monserrate. Pure luck provided the perfect sunny weather with cotton ball clouds to see and photograph Bogota in its entire splendor. They toured the majestic church on the mountaintop and then dined in a stylish French restaurant with beautiful live piano accompaniment. After lunch, Palmer and Lindsay made friends with the pigeons in Bolivar Square and took a solemn walk through the city's most famous cathedral. Being old and married, on Friday night there was just a quick visit to see the glitz and glamour of South America's largest gay nightclub, Tietron. A private driver picked up John and Ryan for a two and a half hour ride outside Bogota to begin their Saturday. Through Tatiana's family, they had the rare, exclusive opportunity to tour a privately held coffee plantation. Not only did they learn the step-by-step -step coffee harvesting process, they rode on horseback along the mountainside, a majestic experience of a lifetime. They were treated like family with exceptional meals while hearing a personal account of the plantation, dark times during the guerrilla occupation, and eventually the endurance to bring the land back to working condition. Although day four was relaxed for John and Ryan, the country held its breath as they went to the polls for their presidential election. Voter turnout was massive and at the same time organized and peaceful. Most of day five was spent underground at the world famous Salt Cathedral. Words cannot describe its beauty and the emotions that are invoked when you hear the melodic Ave Maria piped through the tunnels and into the subterranean places of worship. 
After touring, eating, learning from locals, and taking literally thousands of photographs, for the next six days, Palmer would bear down to focus on creating the historic Bogota 2018 art series. Taking a break from his intense focus on the art series, Palmer engaged in international diplomacy and performed a notable art presentation on Wednesday, May 30th. Palmer met with Ana Maria Duque, Colombia country chair for the Shell Corporation to discuss business, art, international relations, and to present her with his original piece of artwork, Botero Hand Number no. 1. Like every year, Palmer most enjoyed speaking with his first class club via Skype and FaceTime. As a benefit of membership, they hear from the artists firsthand from Bogota about all of the escapades that would be portrayed in his upcoming art exhibition. Palmer's latest international art series is complex. It makes a bold statement on the interplay of natural versus man-made beauty. It perfectly captures Bogota's spirit, passion, and pride. Palmer will now unveil the much-anticipated Bogota 2018 series on July 20th at his historic Houston Heights Art Gallery. Coincidentally, this is Columbia's Independence Day. Palmer would like to give thanks to his top art patrons and members of his First Class Club for underwriting this astounding adventure. Dr. J.P. Anderson and Alfredo Tijerina, Peter Glenn, Margaret Ferenz, Richard and Joan Jennings, Bill and Judy Lindsay, Daniel McFadden, Julio Montano, Laura Parkin, Carolyn Watts and Ellen Yarrell.